becoming the ultimate warrior fantasy right. and uh, achieving glory on the battlefield. Well, I mean, I do have to ask, I'm talking about swordplay and mastery, but the original chivalry is, I mean, it's kind of like silly fun. Like, how do you balance the Bloodlines jsou jiná z týmu, to je pravda, no. Ale jsou jiná epiku, myslím. Proč ne Origin? Kamo, na Origin mrdá pes, na Originu, vole, si uží... Co si užiješ na Originu? Star Wars, Jedi, Fallen Order. I mean, the game is genuinely hilarious. Musíte sledovat ikonky těch obchodů na konci traileru vždycky. Like so, like picking up a chicken as a weapon. Yeah, physically. Like Halo, but I pick one of the players from Xbox Pass. Halo by Xbox Pass. To get Windows 10. On Chivalry 2. So Chivalry 2 is coming out early 2020. And it's coming first to the Epic Game Store. Oh, look forward to checking it out in early 2020. Yeah, like the first one, then I pick Store, and then I pick Inam. Okay, we are just okay. getting started here at the PC gaming show. Let's take a look at what's coming up next. Okay, they'll see her. Gimme, gimme. You're watching the PC gaming show. Coming up. Build a world for wildlife in Yay, Chile Planet Zoo Zvizatka. Creators of Dark Siders, Remnant from the Ashes. Remnant Hrabo Dark Sider Skurcu. And more trailers, interviews, and gameplay footage. Fuck yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, boy. Bude Titanfall 3 nebo Crysis 4? Kámo... Co si na to mám říct, ty vole? Planet Zoo bude exkluzivně na Epiku? No je to možný, no. Díš, že si nechal open chaty pro plebs? A, ah, pohoda. To je se simulátor Vojtovýho Paypalu. <laughs> a ta postava je i stejně thick jak já, to jsem já čere, Irl. Ale hele, vole, včera jsem giftnul 50 subs, protože Doom vyše vyjde ještě tenhle rok, jak jsem slíbil. Co to je pěkně depresivní. Tohle tohle vypadá jak hra o tom, že prostě se procházíte. Ej, moje oblíbená moderátorka. We're listening to your reactions to the PC gaming show throughout the entire broadcast, no matter what platform you're watching and ranting on. So keep them coming. Our next game is a ghost-themed multiplayer hide-and-seek game inspired by a popular mod. Charge up your proton packs and get ready for Midnight Ghost Hunt. Bustin makes me feel good! Cherry World exclusive Bustin! Oh my gosh, but that was Bustin Ghosting. When the night falls, there's only you and me. When the night falls, Mám to na max. Ještě trošku stáhnu sebe. Poltergeisti. To je probe hunt. Včera už se nemůžu dočkat, až uvidím 100 gameplay videí z téhle hry od Backstrixe featuring Vedria House. Oh yeah. Kdy bude stream z nějaký video hry? Až nějaká vyjde, ale teďko je E3.
Joining me on the stage to talk about Midnight Ghost Hunt is the dynamic one-man team. Creative director, programmer, designer, it's Sam Malone! Şu duyan yeni yeni çılavik. Wow. Sam, please tell us what is going on in that. What is Midnight Ghost Hunt all about? So Midnight Ghost Hunt is a multiplayer ghost hunting hide and seek game. Uh, you can play as either as ghosts or ghost hunters, like a 4v4 format. I see. Uh, the ghosts can hide inside average everyday objects around the haunted house. Uh, the goal is to look like harmless furniture, uh, but on the inside, they're not so harmless ghosts as you saw. Yeah, and we from understand correctly, it's not about hiding as a lamp to try to assault and take out a hunter. It's actually you would do that so that way you can keep running away and continue to hide. Exactly. 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 Exactly.
drž kurva hubu. Se dívám na rostomilý hry. Cute games. Unexplored 2. Unexplored 2 jsem nehrál. Teda jedničku. Neříkal jsi včera, že koukáš na jetři, aby si viděl velký triple hry? No to jo, jenže to bylo kvůli tomu, že tam Bethesda ukázala čtyři mobilní hry v řadě. Samsung 27 240 Hz monitor. Potřebuju tento monitor. Počkej, moment. Oni 240 Hz budou ukazovat na PUBG. To je jako vážně? Kamo, teď PUBG nerozjedeš ani na 120 FPS. Na co potřebuješ 240 monitor na PUBG, když ta hra ty vole neběží ani na 120? No ten vypadá hezky a dokonce nemá ani ten dementní stojen jako mají ty moje, který je tak velký, že mi zabral tři čtvrtě stolu. Dean, we've seen the video. And I gotta start asking. Talk to me about some of those juicy features and specs. So it's 2078 to run at 170 FPS. Wow. One of the most powerful graphics in the world. Da hru, co má grafiku, jak zrku 2007, na 170 FPS, což ani není 240. Tak to je bomba. Sure, it's a 3001 contrast ratio. Yeah, and I, I understand it also has G-Sync. I saw that flash up on the screen as well. Samsung's first G-Sync compatible monitor, so we're super excited about that. Well, since this is the PC gaming show, and we're showing off a huge variety of games here, what are the types of games? Nikol, samozřejmě je to stejně jako bude lepší, když to nevytáhneš na ty FPS, ale to stejně jako bude lepší na tom monitoru, ale. The speed and the performance, but ultimately, esports first-person shooters are really going to benefit. Right. Well, of course, I have to ask. Not just when is it available, but what what type of cost are we talking? Sure. So, it's for under four hundred dollars for a twenty-seven inch panel. So it expands our gaming lineup to eight miles. Yeah. Because when you said four hundred, I mean that's the twenty-seven inch is the four hundred dollar model. Wow. Yeah. So our gaming lineup will be expanded to eight models, ranging from twenty-four all the way up to a forty-nine inch dual QHD. Check out Samsung.com/gaming240. Four hundred dollars for a seven hundred dollar screen. For the audience, it's there. You can go there for it. Do you like? Not four K. Not four K. Not for that price point. Well, I want to let you know that we have all sorts of great presentations and games coming up. Let's look at what's coming up in the PC gaming show. Za 10 720 Q 240 za, za oblenou, to je hodně dobrá cena, jestli to teda bude jako ta 240, jestli to není nějaká jinčí specifikace. Albo ukazoval Borderlands 3. And now the PC gaming show presents what's next from Funcom. Co je to bez přírážku jak prase? Ne, já si Alza, Alza a její kurz. Moment, stojí to, stojí to 400 dolarů, tak to u nás bude za 15600. Hello everyone, thanks for the warm applause. It's very exciting for all of us at Funcom to be here at the PC gaming show. For the very first time ever, Natasha. and naturally, we would like to show some of the cool stuff that we've been working on. So, without further ado, here are some of the games coming for 2019. Something strange is going on all across the zone. Are they rushing in? Until now, I'm using zero now. 
tenhle ten zvířecí x -kom. Stalkers got each other's backs, right? What happens to you happens to me. Ah, yeah, Conan. Your strategy, Conan. Wave five, Zulu. Konečně nová hororovka na Halloween, přesně. Vypadá dobře. Oh je, yeah, já beru jakoukoliv hororovku. Please welcome to the stage. Founder and director of Mighty Kingdom, Philip Mays. So yeah, at Funcom we've been doing our own games for over 26 years now. But recently we had the great pleasure to be working with some other very talented developers and help them publish their games. And on that note, I'd like to introduce Phil Mays. Uh, he is founder of Mighty Kingdom, a studio out of Australia, who has been working with us on something a little different. Thank you, Natasha. So on April 1st, this year, we put out a little for something called Conan Chop Chop. And uh, considering the date, it's it no surprise that people decided that that was uh, April Fool's joke. So uh, yeah, we have a little surprise for you. Check this out. So there you have it, uh, Conan Chop Chop. It's a roguelike action adventure game. Uh, it's very real, and it's coming to PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch on September the 3rd this year. It's 2019. We also have a playable version here at E3 at our demo room, so if you want to give stick figure Conan a try, then please don't hesitate to drop by. Thank you. Thank you so much. Last Oasis is a nomadic survival game set in a post-apocalyptic -post future where the Earth has stopped rotating. The post, last humans to outrun the blazing sun in massive open world environments. Good times. But cheer up, sunshine. This is one of the most original looking multiplayers we've seen with interesting ideas underneath. A player-driven economy and some incredibly incredible death machines. Coming to early access on Steam on July 15th, let's take a trip to the last Oasis. Ten cápek, co včera řval na Keanu Reevese, you are breathtaking, tak dostal od CD projektu kolektorku cyberpunku. <laughs> LOL.
tohle vypadá jako úplně perfektní hra, kterou bude hrát Forsen a budou ho stream snipovat tím, že vytvoří stroj, který bude ve tvaru gigantického péra a budou do něj narážet. Takový Janele. A to vypadá zábavně v Mulťáku, ty vole. Tato konference vypadá oproti tím včerejším hrozně líbu. A tak protože tady jsou jakoby menší hry, že jo? Tady jsou prostě menší indie hry, třeba za 20 Dček, který si prostě nemůžou dovolit mít AAA cinematiky za miliony, že jo? Jako musíš brát v potaz, že celá tady ta konference stála asi tolik, kolik zaplatili Kianu Reevesovi za včerejších 30, minut na, 30 sekund na stage, jo, takže... Kde je Doom konference? Kamu Doom už vyšel! Už jsou všude trailery, všude jsou sběratelky, všude je release day! Už to vyšlo, běž se na to podívat ty vole, teď už je to na YouTube x hodin, kurva! Vypadni! The name of the game is Age of Wonders Planetfall, a 4X strategy game, and joining me on the stage to talk about it is the game director Leonard Sass and principal gameplay developer Tom Bird. Welcome guys! Hi. Good to be here. Yeah, So, Leonard, just give us the gist of what Age of Wonders Planetfall is all about. Sure. Age of Wonders is a turn-based strategy game where you play as one of the survivors of a shattered galactic empire. At the start of the game, you choose or, or create your own faction. Yeah. And they include uh, the Vanguard Expeditionary Forces, who are in cryosleep when everything went to hell. Um, there's scavenging cyborgs or the Amazon bioengineers who ride dinosaurs into battle. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I want to ask, because there's a pretty broad range of Forex strategy games, to give a sense of what the gameplay is, I just want to start from the beginning of a game. What happens when you first land on the planet? Well, um, each race has their own spaceship. The spaceship comes down onto the planet. The planet is where the entire game takes place. Mm -hmm. And that spaceship will then transform into your capital colony, where your entire empire begins, your sort of attempt to take over the world. Around you, you've got a number of sectors, and each of these sectors has a little story. Well, not most of them. So maybe you'll find a genetics lab, which is still full of horrible mutant creatures, an entertainment complex overrun by horrible robot monsters, a temple with holes in the sky and horrible demons who come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> Troopers. Orbital laser cannons you can launch from space. Um, social doctrines is not all about war. Um, yeah. And then uh, the myslím, second part is that you have to create a combination between man and machine, or man and computer, and uh, so you can create like a combination between man and machine, or man and computers. Yeah. Uh, others include doomsday technologies that allows you to infect the entire population with alien brain-eating parasites, or win the game by uh, splitting space-time. I love how many details you're giving me of the horrors that await <laughs> on the planet. Uh, the future is not a pretty place. <laughs> Well, I want to ask about some of the combat that we saw. Because in a lot of strategy games, the combat is very good. You know, the two armies pinging off each other. But it's quite rich. Right. So when combat starts, you'll see, like on the world map, maybe like a little sort of space lab or something like that. When you go into combat, you will zoom all the way in, and you will be inside the lab. You'll see all the pipes and all of the goops flowing around. All of your units, which you've been putting together and built, are now deployed in turn-based combat. You can move them into cover, use their abilities, shoot laser cannons. 
ground. Maybe you've chosen the dwarf, so you've got like a bunch of space dwarves and little yeah. metal suits that dig holes in the ground, like shoot from the, from the holes. Maybe you've chosen the Kirko, sort of horrible alien yeah. bug monsters. They run forwards and slash people and puke acid on them, that kind of thing. I mean, how, how long do some of these battles wind up? Ten in normal, the list of battle can be maybe prostě jako takový strejda, který je super nadšený do svého hobby a celkově jako prostě pohodě cápek, ale radši ho nechcete pouštět ke svým dětem. Uh, it's aow-planetfall.com. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it. It's less than two months away. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining thank me. Very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Ten mluví asi jako když Cordus mluví o anime. Sharing the horrors of the future. Tole, ekšu Cordus na anime festu. To ani není prostě vystřižený. Why? The year is 1946, Sean, my dear boy. Europe lies in ruins, torn apart by the satanic Plan Z. A brave band of heroes cast the Fuhrer into hell, but little do they know, the nightmare is far from over. Achtung! This Achtung. is the exclusive reveal of the next shooter from the makers of Sniper Elite 4. Oh, no, a střílečka od Sniper Elite, tvůrců. A řekla Achtung, takže tam budou náckové, boys. Rated M for mature. To by ta zombie army čtyři, ne? Yep. Zapas už lezou. Dostanu elektřinu. Ukradla ten kulomet. Jako ten problém se zombie army je, že ty tři hry byly všechny tři na jedno brdo. Stejně jako ty sniper elite hry, že jako fakt tam minimum rozdílů je mezi těma sniper elite i, i zombie army hrama. Jako doufám, že tady ten čtvrtý díl upečou pořádně a jako udělaj ho aby byl vodlišný. For nearly a hundred years, the root have ravaged the earth. An unending assault without reason. We are victims to a 
hatred that we do not understand. This evil will consume our world and the countless worlds beyond. Unless you rise to meet it. A trial by fury and blood. You seek the source of death itself. Prepare yourselves. They are here. Hra, ve který musíte rolovat proti bossovi, střílet zároveň s, par s parťákama. A vychází už 20. srpna. Hmm. Proč ne? I'll, I'll take it. From the ashes in that trailer, we got the chance to see so much new gameplay footage and new environments. Let's welcome the CEO of Gunfire Games, David Adams. <laughs> So David, I want to ask right away for those who are unfamiliar with Remnant from the Ashes, what kind of game is it? So Remnant's a co-op action shooter set on... Uh... Hold up. ...in this story. So as a player, you're on sort of an Odyssey-like quest hey. to save the world, and uh, we really wanted to have a bunch of different cool locales that you go to just to experience a bunch of different stuff, and. You start on Earth, but it, it rapidly changes very quickly as you get into the game. And one thing that we've you know, talked about before is that replayability is a huge focus of the game, that you could play through it 10 times and still be seeing new bosses, new monsters, new locations. How exactly does that work? Yeah, I think one of the coolest features of the game is the dynamic generation system. So we generate the maps, the enemies, the quests, NPCs, bosses, everything. You've built those all by hand, right? Yeah, it's all hand scripted, but the system takes all the pieces and stitches it together. So you might play the game and come into work and say, hey, I talked to a giant tree and fought a dragon boss, and I'll be like, I met a guy in a helicopter, an old guy in a helicopter, and killed a tree ant, and we'd have completely different experiences and, playing the same game. And you just have to keep going through and eventually explore what all the possibilities yeah, are. Three you can play the game over and over again to see the stuff. You can jump in your friend's Doom world to experience the content in their world, and that's a big part of the game, just jumping in and seeing what you get. Well, I, I want to ask about loot, which is, you know, I understand, a big part of the game. How does it function alongside this ever-shifting gameplay experience? Yeah, the loot in the game is all legendary items, and it's tied into the uh, dynamic generation. So if you fight a boss, or meet an NPC, or get a cool, unique side quest, it generally coincides with a cool, unique item. It might be a boss weapon, oh, or a magical item, or armor. So if you play the game, and you get all completely different events, you'll have different equipment than I have. Hmm. And in the trailer, I also saw that there were three people walking through these, and you mentioned the co-op experience. How does co-op function in the world? So the game's full co-op from beginning to end. You can jump in at any point. And the game's definitely slower paced, more difficult. I mean, you will die a lot in this game, so. Awesome. There's a huge advantage to bringing your friends to come in there and help you take down bosses or fight off different events or just generally progress through the world. Yeah, well, I mean, as a big fan of Bloodborne and Dark Souls, I'm really looking forward to Remnant from the Ashes. What, what's the release date and where can people go for more information? So Remnant's coming out uh, August 20th on oh, awesome. PC and Xbox and PS4, and if you pre-order the game now, you can actually get in early and start playing the game August 16th. No, oh, awesome. ladies and gentlemen, David, David Adams. Thanks so much for talking to us about Remnant. And as we mentioned earlier, keep those questions coming. I will be asking on stage the creative director of Borderlands 3 everything you want to know. Doesn't matter what nice, platform you're on, just use hashtag PC Gaming Show. Ty vole, to bych měl předobědnat, a to bude na Epiku určitě. No, už, no. This one was announced two years ago at the PC Gaming Show here. It's a game from Clay Entertainment Který called Rift 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 Rift. To nevím, to jsou quite menší studia. To klidně koupím, to je v pohodě, ty to potřebují ty lové. But you also negotiate your way through a broken down sci-fi world. It's going to be available on the Epic Game Store in one short month on July 11th in Alpha. Let's take a look at some of the footage of what you'll be playing. Za měsíc nová hra, jo? Ah, karetní hra. Ah, 
Remnant je na Steamu za 40 Dček. No a ještě musím jenom zkontrolovat, jestli se mi odeslal link. No dobrý. No jo. Pre-order now. Nevím, no, čili mám to pre-ordenou. Hmm. Why not? Proč ne? Proč ne? Dáme pre-order rovnou. Tak, OK. Dobrý, máme to. Easy. Co se zase seknulo? Došlo k chybě sítě, jebe ti. Jo, boys, boys, musím, musím se pochlubit, musím se pochlubit, boys. Uh, už mám od český Bethesda distribuce potvrzený, že dostanu Doom Eternal kolektorku na unboxing. Já jsem koukal na ten Bethesda store, oni tam mají shipping jenom v Americe. Ale je to pořešený. Bude na streamu, nebo je War Tamer, nejdřív na to, či mám boxing a pak až to ukážu na streamu. To bych měl rychlejší video easy clamp. Kdy? Naž ta hra vyjde. To vychází jaký v srpnu, to musím zahrát. Jak tam nasál to hroší hovno, tak to je POG gameplay. A ah, Twitch chat. Co to vychází? Já myslím, že to vychází v létě a ono to vychází až 5. listopadu? Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Piers and Lisa, everyone. Next up, we have a very special guest all the way from Japan. Japan. Kdo přijel z Japonska? Hideo Kojima. Welcome to the stage, gaming industry legend and Shenmue creator, Yu Suzuki. That is right. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me on the stage is a legend of Japanese game development. It's Mr. Yu Suzuki. Hello, everyone. In addition to being the brains behind the following games, Hang On, Space Harrier, Outrun, Afterburner, Virtual Racing, and Virtual Fighter, Yu-san also created the Shenmue series. 
and he's here to talk about Shenmue 3 right now. Take it away, Yusan. Uh, I am so honored to be here standing on the stage today. それと、20年支えてくれたあのファンの皆さんありがとう。I just want to say thank you to the all the fan supporting me for the long 20 years. Thank you very much. The wait. The wait is nearly over. That's right. Let's take a world exclusive look at Shenmue 3. Shenmue 3. Jo, já jsem nehrál žádnou Shen, Shenmou hru. Já se ani teď nepamatuju, o čem to přesně je. Honestly, I don't think your kung fu is strong enough. Uh, Grandmaster, I... A long time ago, martial arts were bad, but humans are interesting creatures. They practiced in secret, away from prying eyes, and became stronger. One even practiced atop this very boat. Nam Tren survived the ban and was passed on in this way. What did you say to me? Stop it. They threaten and extort money from shop owners, get drunk by noon, and cause trouble. Everyone in town is afraid of them. They are heartless. Hey, wait right there! Him, the Japanese guy who got in our way. You've got some guts to barge in here on your own. I know so many people have been waiting for Shenmue 3. I would like to once again thank you so much. Thank you, Yusan, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you, everyone. Thank you. Now, our next title is near and dear to my childhood heart. It's based upon a game I grew up playing called Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Let's take a look at an upcoming Heroes. collaboration between Coffee Stain Studios and Lava Potion. Založeno na Heroes of Might and Magic. Mm, 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 mm. The essence within you which is who we are. In dead or in living, it's nay and it's far. In human and armor and beasts of the land, it flows through the forest, it breathes the sand. Lightning and thunder in crackling waves, a land torn asunder by night and by day. The Empress eternal with death and decay. March upon cities with cross and with faith. They gather the wheels and build mighty walls. Resisting, holding their harvest with balls. So wield the power of those you command and grow out their essence you hold in your hand. Unleashed on them all, so in these final hours, we'll praise and rebuild to take back what was ours. The name of the game is Songs of Conquest, and here to join me in talking about it is the lead designer from Lava Potion, Carl Toftfeld. Hey, yeah, Carl. Hi, hey, hey. I mean, Carl. let's just start off. For anyone who maybe hasn't played the Heroes of Might and Magic series, what is Song of Conquest all about? Um, it's all about, um, well, you kind of start out with in the town that you just saw in the end of right. the trailer, and uh, from there you recruit your wielders, is what we call our commanders, and uh, yeah. you recruit an army, and then you kind of send off your wielders on an adventure. And they go exploring yeah. the world, they pick up resources to flag mines, and with those resources, you upgrade your town so you can get more stuff, and that's kind of what you do. Adventure and strategy combined. Yeah, and you know, I know that part of the core loop is, obviously get the resources to build up the township, but yeah. for what reason? 
No, ale to bude Heroesovský gameplay, no. V Pixel Artu udělaný. S tím, že jako Ubisoft, Heroes of Might and Magic docela pohř byl upřímně. Great, and Griffins yeah. and so on, and all those things. And well, you know, as as someone who just loves the Heroes of Might and Magic series, I know that you have translated a lot of the gameplay elements into Songs of Conquest. Yeah. But what are some of the modern elements that you're bringing in? Um, well, there's a lot of it, but I mean, one of them is our magic system. We call it the essence. So basically, uh -huh. in our in the Songs of Conquest universe, everything has an essence within there. It's sort of like the soul. So your troops, they have an essence. And to do magic, you need to bring the troops with the right essence with your wielder's skills. Oh, I see. So if you want to uh, like make your troops go faster, you need to bring a troop that has that essence, like cavalry. And maybe to ask a basic question, what if my opponent kills that cavalry? Then you can't do the magic. So. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, yeah so if you're fighting someone, you kind of have to like weigh the pros and cons of what to kill off. Like, do you want to destroy their magic or their powerful troops? Where can people go to get more information? And as always, When's it coming out? And late 2020. Oh, it's quite a ways off. 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 It's quite a